man, that's such a delay. It's so funny. How how's it going, guys? There is literally no delay on my end. <laughs> I know it's so funny because on mine, it literally it took you a full second and a half to clap. There's no delay when you're talking. It's There's weird. just only delay on the clap. There's like no but, delay at all on my end. Sorry, I'm gonna move the microphone down to dick level. Can you still hear me? Uh, Pretty well. That's fine. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, cheers. Cheers, buddy. Um, I'm interested to try this. I haven't tried it yet. I, um. Is that trash? <clears throat> or is that something on my screen? Mm. Uh, okay, it's something. It's on actually screen. good. How we doing? How's everyone doing? Uh, you uh, you all have a good weekends. You do fun things. Um, is your is your is your week ahead uh, exciting? It's uh, now December. Um, it's it, it it's the uh, it's it's the eleventh. Oh, uh, when this episode comes out, uh, I will be going to that Lions game. The, this coming up weekend on the 16th. It's now it's for Saturday instead of Sunday. Uh, it's the first time in NFL history they're playing on Saturday. Did not know that was happening. Does that mean you can play D&D? &D? Uh, well, possibly, but I thought everyone... Uh, there was other people that couldn't do the 17th. Oh, I don't know. I told them that I didn't know because I don't know if I'm traveling back here or not. I, I did talk to my boss today, though. I'm going to try to stay home uh, for the holiday stuff with all the cats and everything, you know? Yeah. Well, shit, I mean, possibly. I, uh, it, it just, they just announced it, like, a couple hours ago, so I was like, oh, alright, well, shit, that's cool. But, um, yeah, I, uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, we got, dude, Christmas is, yeah, like, it's, As of this episode, it's fucking two weeks yeah. away. I got I got literally two weeks. No, three. I gotta work some hours two these next couple of weeks so I can get Christmas presents for people, man. Ugh. Yeah, man. I uh, now that I'm back to work, I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm still not really getting anyone gifts because we said we weren't, but like, yeah, yeah. I already bought all of Melissa's gifts this last weekend on because uh, for us it's just after Thanksgiving, so. Well, not really, but we, uh, shit, what is the day? Oh, it's, it's the end, of, it's the 30th, so we're, uh, um, I just, we went through Black Friday deals and shit, and I bought all of her shit on yeah. Black Friday. I, I did a so lot of, like, cool. I, I wanted to do Christmas gifts, but then I, um, I wound up buying a bunch more tools for work, um, got a few things for the cats, and then, like, Kind of spoiled myself for the the computer at home. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Well, the computer at home that's yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, you know what? Go for it, though. Like, that's... You're gonna use the fuck out of that. Oh, yeah. And I got shit that will I hopefully help while I'm here. Wireless. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking yeah. needed it, dude. Dude, that's oh. awesome. I ended up buying, um, I bought myself a workout bench. I haven't set it up yet because it only showed up, like, yesterday. Oh, nice. And, uh, Melissa's been sick, so I just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Been hanging out yeah. with her, yeah. I'll set it up. Yeah. Well, honestly, what I planned on doing was having it set up so I can... It folds up also, so I can, like, set it up in the living room real quick and then... Because, like, usually I'll just do that and work out a little bit in the living room while I'm playing a video game while when Melissa's home, yeah. not home. But, like, she's been home all week because she's been sick. So I just haven't even gotten around. That's what I was planning on doing. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'll just come home from work and set it up and throw the ball with Penny while she's bugging me about it. And then I'll, I'll try it out, but I haven't. So it's just I'm excited to do that. I finally pulled the trigger and found one because I was like, fuck it, let's get one while they're all generally on some sort of sale yeah it's a smart time man um speaking of gym shit yesterday was my first like free day to where i was like oh i could actually go to the gym um but i wound up 
like passing out right after I made dinner. Um, yeah. Today I was like, oh, I might go after we record, uh, depending on how much time I got, because I'm supposed to play Baldur's Gate with the guys. I didn't bring my shoes. You didn't bring your gym shoes? No. Or any shoes? I just have my work boots. That's all I have. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. Because I, I, it's no fault on Kai or Chrissy. Like, it, I offered to help, like, move stuff. So I had to pull all of my stuff out of the car. And, I, like, yeah. just wound up forgetting to Forgot repack to it properly, those. man. Hey, oh, you know what? That's, <clears throat> it's better that than something than you, like, legitimately need because like totally. obviously like I mean it's gonna be annoying to be in the gym wearing your boots but like I'll probably just go buy a cheap pair of shoes um, that's fair the real annoying thing is I what for, is I forgot my flip flops I forgot like my slippers which I don't really need but like today I'm doing laundry yeah. so I have to throw my boots on while I'm wearing my gym shorts to go get laundry yeah it just looks weird yeah. no, I get I mean so like are you gonna go to pay less? What's Canada's version of pay less? Is it just pay less? I don't know. I, don't know if I, I mean or it's just some you probably just go to their I just go to Wal- Meyer. Walmart, dude. Yeah, I guess you're right. Walmart's everywhere. Yeah. It's the Walmart Super Santra, not center. Oh yeah, it's art. Super Santra. They're like we are extra fancy because they like French stuff in Toronto because they're French. Well yeah, there's a lot of shit here that's French too, like I brought some stuff home, like my toothpaste, and Chrissy was like, "Yeah, what kind of fucking toothpaste is that? Why don't I understand anything?" And then she was like, "Oh, it's in French." And I was like, "Dude, I didn't even notice that." Like, <laughs> I've, I looked I've been at the st- colors. I've like I've been staring at it every single day, like twice a day, and didn't notice it was in French. <laughs> I just read toothpaste. Yeah. Honestly, what would have been really bad if if he, they were like, "This isn't toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's butt cream." It's almost as bad just, as the, the time I I accidentally used like my beard stuff. <laughs> like I was brushing my teeth, and it comes in a tube that looks like toothpaste. And I was dead tired, put it on my toothbrush, and was like, "Oh, oh no, no, <laughs> I'm fucked up really bad." Oh, really bad. Ugh. Yeah, that's terrific. This drink's actually really good. I need to write down what I put in it. Write it down, um, my man. Shit. Um, but, what's it called? Um, I tried to find, uh, dude, I'm like almost down, I think like midway through Act 3 of uh, Boulders. We're, we're, I haven't played... Dude, we're finally on Act 2. I have not beaten it. I have not gotten past, like, the start of Act 2. So no spoilers, please. But, yeah. It's nice. I, I got bored with it a little bit, you know? like, And now I'm playing with other people and it's fun again. Oh, yeah. I haven't even... I, again, like, I'll eventually I'll play with someone, I guess. But, yeah, I just don't even... I'm just having fun trying to do every single fucking quest I can until yeah. I hit the main storylines. Which but has me it's... so shocked that you're so low level for Act 3, man. Like, didn't you say you were what like... What level am I supposed to be? Didn't you say you were like level 8 or something? Well, that was when I was in Act 2. I thought you... I swear I'm you I'm level told me 11 you... right now. Okay, that's better. I was going to say, I thought you told yeah. me that, like, right when you got to Act 3, I thought you said you were, like, level 7. And I was like, dude, that's wild. Because we're in Act 2, and we're, like, level 8 almost, I think. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was in Act 2 gotcha. at level 8. Like, toward, I was probably towards, like, towards the end of... That still shocks me, though, because we're, like, technically not even in Act 2 yet. We're right at the, like... Crossroads of Act One, Act Two, and yeah. then we're we're like higher level than you were. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe which is weird. Uh, I'm we gotta I tried to do and before I left. I did ev. Oh no. Yeah, we gotta stop the that cameras. That sucks. 
Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I um, I did not understand a single word you said because you froze and then everything clicked in like times three <laughs> speed to catch up to you. Oh uh, God! All right, so uh, you you gotta no, you gotta close your camera too, buddy, because you you're still oh. breaking. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So I was uh no I was saying that on uh, act. When I was at, like... I was probably level 8, almost level 9 when I left Act 2. Okay. That's a little more feasible. Yeah, like... like. Yeah. Like, it was, it was probably close. Because I know I probably jumped a bit in these last ones. Because I've been doing a lot in Act 3. Um, for, uh... I'm trying to remember. Uh, I also, like, there was some of the... Like, I didn't go to some of the areas, I guess. Like... I don't know. I guess it depends where you went. Like, I didn't go to any of the 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 going up the mountain pass. Okay. Yeah, you can do both. Like, like you can do the underdark yeah, and the mountain pass and everything. Yeah, I, I didn't. That that might I be only why. did because I, I think you can get a couple yeah. of levels uh, extra if you do both. Well, I didn't. Re- I think basically I ended up doing. Un- I went to Underdark and I did enough quests that it got to the point where they were like, you can't go there without, you know, fucking up X and X. So I was just like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that. And I just kept going through the story and I was like, oh, maybe that's just the all. I, in my mind, I thought it was like, oh, you can do one or the other. Yeah, that's what and I thought too. It, it creates. Damn, so I fucked that up. All yeah, right, it's well, all at least good. I know next time I'll probably... St- I'll start at the other one and then go to Underdark and wipe through that real quick when I know. Yeah, there's, like, really only... I mean, shit, I, I... I think there's really only one thing, like, when you actually get to Act 2. I don't think you can go back to, like, Act 1 stuff after that. But it's, like, when you're, like, fully in that, like, super dark area where, like... I don't even know what to call it, because it's right where I just got it. It's right when you start Act 2, though. But, like, yeah, the other stuff, like... Oh, yeah. I thought the same shit, and then I was like, oh, my God, I gotta go sell stuff. Where the fuck is a seller? And then I was... I opened map and was like, oh, I can still fast travel everywhere, and then fast travel back. And I was like, I'm gonna go do all the Underdark shit now. Yeah, I didn't... I, I went Underdark first, and then wasn't able to go to the mountain pass because I didn't, I don't know, from whatever whatever I did uh, I maybe you're supposed to go to the mountain pass first and then go to Underdark? You can do both. Cause I, I accidentally, I fell into the Underdark. Um, okay. Yeah, huh. and then I just fast traveled out. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I need to I don't know, at this point like I want to just beat my game so I can redo it and start another one, but I might also just start another one. Uh, but I should beat it first. <laughs> also, I did... I finally admitted defeat, and I started using Asterion. He's... Honestly, he's alright. Like... He's, he's, he's not bad. He's a good character. He's... Honestly, it made a lot more help just opening shit. Yeah. Like... Uh, he... He's all right. I didn't need him when I played as Fena, but he's all right. His yeah. story is actually really good too. But like the 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 fan base ruined him for me, man. Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's basically it. I just kind of like honestly, my next playthrough, I might keep him in my party the whole time, just as a one. Because now that I have him at where he's at, like, it really does make opening everything easier because he's so much better at it than my guy was. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, my party, my main character, is the better of opening shit, I guess, that I was using, other than Asterion. So, like, um, I also... I, I got to a, a point in Act 3 where I didn't... Where I need Asterion because of his per- his personal quest kind of thing, so I was like, "All right, I'll finally throw him into yeah my party." Like it was one of those like 
I went to sleep and we had a interaction during the the when you you know while you're sleeping something happens and I was like oh fuck all right it involves him never mind I'll hold on let me load my last save real quick so I can put him in my party and actually like give him all his skills yeah <laughs> cuz he was level he was level 2 and we were all like level 11 <laughs> I'm like Jesus Christ all right yeah so I just had to throw that in real quick and I was like all right I started using him Dude, we and, uh, we straight murdered him in the boys game, like, uh, like uh, killed him. Oh yeah, like when he when he goes to like like suck your blood in the middle of the night, like we were like, so we kill him, yeah, <laughs> and then we just killed him. Fucking Nick is wearing his underwear. I'm wearing his pajamas. We're just, That's so funny. Dude, for a while there, there was just a blood spot in the camp for, like, the longest time. <laughs> and it finally goes away. Yeah. That's fun. Like, I love that, um... <laughs> especially because Nick did it, because, you know, Teresa is probably, is, yeah. loves him so much. So she was probably, he was probably just like, ha and she was so mad about it. I think she was watching, actually, which was hilarious. I love that so much. That's so funny. Just because I can imagine the interaction. Uh, that's good. No, that's... Uh, it, he's not bad, honestly. Like It was just one of those, like, in my party, like... I guess, like, he is he, he is pretty good. I didn't realize uh, at a certain point he can attack as many times as he could. Because I oh, hadn't yeah. used him at all. I was like, okay, that's pretty useful. But... Ugh. Yeah. Anyways, um, dude, how you uh, how you said you're sick? How's your cold, dude? Oh, dude, it sucks. Like it, it's not. <laughs> it, it. I get better as the day progresses. Like the yeah. mornings are fucking god awful though, man. And then right now I'm like exhausted. That's fair. <laughs> like, I want to go to bed so bad, but I'm like, I also want to do other stuff. You know, I got to do my laundry. Like I said, I'm playing playing the boys game after we finish recording. Yeah. I forgot. Oh. Sorry, I realized I, uh, since I have lowered myself that I can lower the lights a little bit. And adjust the green screen behind me. You can't see it, but... No, they can. I don't know why I, I, I even looked over at the screen. <laughs> I was like, that's that's just me. There's no you. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't roll. Hold on. Three. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just like my internet. It's shit. Dude, I, I really want to get you a new router, man. Like I've been looking. I, I haven't seen anything, and I, I don't know what your internet is set to is. yeah like uh, yeah i gotta get I, I, we're gonna look into it in the next year or two and i'm yeah. gonna get something for that. I, 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 uh, honestly it might not even be your router it might just be you guys just aren't paying for good internet possibly but also like it or i was dumb and i put our modem in the basement that too yeah, that too. Well, that was where they had it, so it was just one of those more like, well, they have it here. It's either we have it here, or I spend like another two hours, like you know, or whatever time, like wiggling it around your house to get it where you want it. But yeah, next time I'm just gonna do that. I think at the time when we did it, it was just one of those like, uh, uh, you know, towards the end of the day, didn't you know? Yeah, and I'm, I was being I mean, nice to the guy. You can find where it connects from the outside, like that coaxial cable, and just yeah, whatever room that is outside in your first floor, just move it there. You'll have to drill a hole and you know yeah. patch it up, but just move it there. Oh, I mean, honestly, I figure like e either one. Like if we stick with whoever we're with, I think it's AT and T. Um, I, 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 I don't remember who's actually available out here because it's out here. Yeah. So it's either, uh, I know it's either AT&T and, or I think most people in a neighborhood have Spectrum. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, either way, like if we switch, 
yeah, I'm gonna make the guy move it to basically the base the base of the stairs right in that corner. Uh, so it's directly in the middle of the house. In the basement or upstairs? No, upstairs. Like right at the right when you walk in the door. Right, you know, right in the corner behind gotcha. the TV. Gotcha. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a good spot. Yeah. 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 Um, Just because it's it's literally would be like the pinpoint middle of generally the house, and that would make it way easier for everything. And then yeah, I might get some repeat. I'll get a repeater and put one behind the computer at the table or behind my desk and shit. And, yeah, I usually one I I try basement. to keep the router near wherever my computer is gonna be. Yeah, like that way I can have a direct line and I still all the bandwidth because I need. I mean, it. I would love that, but <clears throat> well, yeah, for you for sure. But unfortunately, Melissa works from home, so true. True. Uh, yeah, she's gonna technically use it a lot more than I would true and at the very least i i'm still get, i'm getting two bars of internet versus three so regardless i think like as long as i move it upwards that'll give me that last one yeah. and then if i also just get you know and putting it in the basement get like, it up here when you told me that i was like why the fuck <laughs> it's honestly it's the worst was... spot to put it <coughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think what it was is, one, it, it was specifically, like, I must have been in a hurry that day or I just didn't feel like having that guy there forever. Um, but, two, like, they had it set up there, and I think it's because, like, generally that's technically the event space. Yeah, so, like, I guess so. Normally, we're supposed to set up a TV over at, in the, in the, by the fireplace there, and people are supposed to be hanging out there so i think technically it would make sense that for everyone down there but that I and mean, we don't do it enough it doesn't yeah. matter i just need to fuck yeah you don't do enough i'm gonna that. do that and put a repeater on one each floor yeah just put one right right behind my desk my the monitor here because that's basically right against middle of the house right behind our wall and then one right where the mo the fucking router's at in the basement, which is again straight down the stairs, and I just direct connected in, I guess. But um, yeah, man, I'm just like I'm sick of this internet shit. It sucks. Sorry to everyone, cause we're just ranting about it, cause it's been weeks. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, we're we're trying to get ahead and have some episodes backed up in case shit goes down, cause life happens and we need to get one or at least an episode uh, backlogged in case shit happens again. Yeah. And that, Cause that's, that's always what fucking happens to us. We get and ahead. the holidays. We need that too. And my parents are having Christmas at their house. So I will have to be up there, which, yep. I, and I, then yeah. I well then it's a new year's and I turn 30 fucking two. Technically, yeah, my birthday is a Tuesday this year. Looking at the calendar. So, uh, we might be recording. <laughs> we might be, depending on how New Year's goes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're having mm. New Year's at Sorry. your place. I, yeah, I, I want to see what, what day my birthday is. I'm going to, before I get to it, I'm going to say it's on a Friday. Which day? July 12th. Your birthday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be scrolling. interesting. I'm scrolling. I mean, I know. It's Friday. What's fun is like, it's a Friday? You called it. Good job. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, at least, yeah, like, we, said, we finally said, fuck it, let's throw a New Year's party just because it's been... We've been here, this will be, we're going on year three, into okay. year three, and uh, I was like, fuck it, like, we haven't done a New Year's yet, We I don't think, like, we've really done much for New Year's, I don't even remember what we did last year, no. to be honest, like. We, we talked um, about it a little bit, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think y'all did anything. <laughs> yeah, so, I, so I'm just like, you know what, let's actually do it this year, like. I don't remember which streaming service or whatever we'll have to have to get a, a ball drop, but 
I mean, honestly, most people don't give a shit about the ball drop. We're kind of just all hanging out, and then we just go, Oh, hey, let's go do the thing, and then we do the thing, and then it'll end. But, like, uh, well, shit, what's weird is usually, like, in the past, every time I throw one of those parties, it's also somewhat, like, a little bit of a birthday party for me also, because, you know, my birthday's two days after. Yeah. That's the way it should be, man. Like... <laughs> I never really throw a birthday party for myself, but, like, I like to tie it in with the 4th of July and other people's birthdays that are in July. I'll be like, can I have a cupcake for my birthday? <laughs> that's, like, that's what I... Well, honestly... Well, shit, my favorite part about your birthday is it's my brother's birthday, so, like, it's it, it's funny because the, the two fucking closest dudes in my life are... <laughs> born on the same day well I guess yeah well is it I hate to say it but I guess I can't say my brother's closest speaking because I we chap ah, he's closest other than you just in general I mean yeah you, but, you got history man yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, so it's just funny that like you're both born on the same day so it's kind of cool to be like alright fuck it let's all hang out and do something cause I mean, he just likes hanging out with us anyway, so... We'll have to do, we'll, we should do something fun for this year, because... I think Kyle's turning 30. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I might... Oh my god, dude. My brother's 30. Dude, he's two years younger than Sorry, you. I'm like... <laughs> I know, but like... It's different. He's my little brother, so now I'm like... My brother's a 30-year-old, dude. Like, that's wild. <laughs> like... It's just hitting me. Like, it, 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 I mean, I get it. Like, yeah, I'm I'm 32, but, like, yeah, I'm the older brother. I'm supposed to be old. I'm not... He's... He's my little bro, and now he's... He's not little. <laughs> he, he hasn't... I mean, he, he hasn't been little for a long time, but, like... <laughs> I get like, it. I, d um, I don't get it. I'm the yeah, little brother. It, I don't. I don't get it at all. Yeah, no, I, I, it, it's just, yeah, it, it's, it, I'm having, like, a whole weird, like, existential, <laughs> like, freak out. Because I'm just like, yo, like, my, my fucking little brother that I looked after, even though he doesn't know I did, <laughs> like, he's 30. <laughs> he's, he's, he is what we used to consider old. Yeah, isn't that fucking wild, man? Like. Dude, oh my god now I get it fucking I remember thinking like I, I, I've, I've been meaning to ask my mom cause she like fucked up her leg and like Ooh. It, it was I'm talking like years back but I was like oh okay I was like what the fuck happened well <laughs> she, she did again a few months ago but that, that that's not the point um yeah but I was like I remember one of the first times she fucked up her leg she like slipped on some water <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I remember at the time I was a kid. I was, I was in elementary school. I don't remember what grade, but I was like thinking about it recently, and I was like, oh man, my mom was so old when that happened, blah blah. blah. And I was like, my mom's only twenty one years older than me. I was in elementary school, <laughs> so she might have been like thirty five. Maybe no, okay, that would that, that would have been high school because that's like fourteen for freshmen. I want to say I was in like third or fifth grade, so she might have been like yeah. thirty, like early thirties. Um, God, that's so weird. So I'm like, man, like I'm around that age when she started having all of the fucking crazy arthritis issues and blah blah, and I'm like. Oh no! I thought she was a lot older when that started, but it's right now. Yeah, yeah. No, me too. Because like, as you're saying that, I'm thinking about the fact that like, um, like I was probably like some of my favorite memories of my mom's work. Like, were she would uh, like they would let her bring me in. Like, if I had a day off, because she was like, for a while, um, she started off as a janitor for a, for like 
I think like 10 years or like eight, man, eh, maybe like five, five to eight years, somewhere in that range. I don't know. I was fucking a kid, but like that was, she was, she worked as a janitor first and then she made a way to go into the stock room for okay. the, she worked at UAW international. So like they actually had a legit like warehouse of just like whatever fuck, whatever the fuck. But so she worked there for a while, but she used to bring me in when I worked there. And uh, I remember it was like I fell in love with breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a very, well, like, very typical Brandon story. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's random as fuck. I fell in love uh, with but breakfast. Like, yeah, of course you did, Brandon. Of course you did. <laughs> Well, I mean, I had to be probably like six or seven years old at this point. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, they used to have a, a catering kitchen, and the catering cook was a, a place called it was Frank's Catering. It used to be at like thir- like eleven in Hoover, somewhere over there. Um, I used to drive by it all the time. They ended up catering my fucking dad's funeral. No shit. Uh, recession, yeah. Like we we went there for dinner, and I was like, "Oh fuck, we're finally going in that place we had driven by my entire childhood." <laughs> um, but one the guy that was there, like I used to tell him, like I love croissant witches from Burger King. Like that was my shit. I talked about the Ignazium on this podcast. I miss the fucking old croissant witch from Burger King. Bring back the spice and the sausage because it's it's not the same. Anyways, I, used to, I it basically like I go in there and he'd ask like, well, what what would you like? Like, you're I'll make you something, whatever. You're a kid, you're not eating like a lot, so he would just make me essentially a croissant, which because they had croissants, so he just sliced one in half, cook a fucking cook some eggs and throw two sausage links on it. He's like, here you go. No, I, I dude, I just lose my shit. <laughs> it was the oh, and some cheese, of course. But it was the best. And then, in the stock room, because I would come in there frequently and sometimes they would not have enough to do. Uh, also, again, this is probably like two th- early 2000s, maybe like the 90s still. Uh, they had this, he had a hunting game where essentially you just hunted animals or like sometimes a prehistoric animal if he got like that map. So they'd just be like, all right, well, we're going to throw it on there and then... He can just play it whenever the fuck he's here. We'll distract him for a couple hours. And that definitely worked. Because i just go get a fucking croissant witch. And then just sit down and just play this hunting game for... With, like, pixel... Just pixelated grass. I'm talking, like, original EverQuest graphics. Was it, like, Tarak? No. No, it was just... It, it was literally a hunt... It was, like, a... a Essentially, maybe like the first big game hunter. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. Like you literally just ran around, almost like essentially like a lot of most of the time it was just like grass with some trees and like maybe some pools of water here and there, and then you'd find some animals and you'd like shoot them. Like I mean, it, it, it was it was decent graphics for what it was from what I remember because you can make out like oh that's a deer that's a cougar that's a mountain lion like it was enough that you can make just a difference but still still dog shit <laughs> but I I wasted so many hours in that room like every time I was there I'd play the fuck out of that and then you know I'd go on all the rounds with my mom like. I think she'd just deliver, like, a fuckload of stock paper, essentially. And so I'd just go on the cart with her and, like, wander around. And she'd, like, pass me off to one of her friends that she knew in the area. And I'd just, like, shoot the shit with some fucking adult for, like, 20 minutes while she ran around and did her job. For actu- like, actually did her job. <laughs> As a child, yeah. <laughs> I like it, man. <laughs> I-, I had a few of those memories with my mom. Um I don't remember most of the shit, but I just remember being like, I'm at my mom's place of work, and I am a child. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I was ever supposed to be there, but I remember That's being fair. there. I, I remember the one woman, I think her name was Sue, 
but like I it, it she was on floor level four, and it was like the I think it was like counting or some shit like that. But like, um, she was like a massive hockey fan, and at the time I was only into hockey. Like I didn't really pay. It was I guess, so. It was definitely the nineties because it was when the Wings were good and they were winning championships and shit all the time. Um, but it was also right. You know Sidney Crosby. Nope. The name no. sounds familiar. Yeah, I mean, essentially, he's the Wayne Gretzky of the league right now. Okay. Dude, you got to remember, I'm I'm not a sports guy, and I'm not a hockey guy. I know, but, like, yeah. to me, like, he's, a, he's, he's the LeBron of hockey. So, like, it's one of those, like, like, you know, like, you can hear, like, certain names, like Patrick Mahomes, you know, he's football. I don't know. If well, you know that either, I do know that, but also like hockey is big where we are. Yeah. Not like countrywide. You know, so like I really only know the big names from like the countrywide stuff. Like uh, hockey seems like it would be because of where we are, but like it's not. That's fair. No, I. Um, I wish it was. It's a cool sport. People fight each well, other. Well, the the Wings are doing better this year. They just signed a really good guy. I guess I'm not. I'm still not watching any games. Like I don't. I'm not paying for any subscriptions that play it. But like I'm still like glancing at the scores once in a while. Um, we do want to go to one game this year just because they're great. Um, but uh, where was I going with it? Oh, anyways. Um, one of the funner things about hockey is that, uh, so like I mentioned, like that woman knew Sidney Crosby, she was telling me cause she was this massive hockey fan to the point where like, she was telling me about this, about him before he got into the NHL being like, he's going to be the next Wayne Gretzky. Like he's ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he actually did what she said, which was, I was like, that's, so it's always a memory in my head. Like, oh, she told me about the legend. Like, she was one of the people that knew before anyone knew. Um, and then, uh, now there's this new kid named Connor Bernard. He's playing for the Chicago Blackhawks. And, uh, he's 18. He just signed with the team or whatever this year. It's his first season. And, Apparently, they just they just let go of some other dude. His name is Corey Perry, I think was his name. I don't know. Again, I don't pay attention to hockey a lot. But he's like a 14, 15-year veteran in the NHL. Like, he's been playing forever. So, apparently, Corey fucked Connor's mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like... And they let him go because they found out. They're like, bro, you can't fuck your, like, this Connor Bernard is being made out. Like, they are going to make him the superstar of NHL. Like, NHL is trying to change its marketing around to become big like the NFL and the NBA. And they're going to market him like the LeBron, like a Kobe. And they have been. So he's, like, going to be the star of the NHL. And they're like, bro, you can't go fuck his mom. You're on his team. I mean, like, that's kind of a, a baller fucking move, though, man. Like, oh, I agree. Yeah. But like, <laughs> it was <laughs> like, I, I would honestly like, I would watch more hockey if that meme started going around where they're like, yeah, you, you know, like, like, I mean, going with names that I know, like if it was basketball where it was like, I don't think Shaq would ever do this to Kobe, but if it was like back when Kobe and Shaq were like playing together, like maybe competing against each other. And then like, you just found out like someone posted something like, Oh yeah, Kobe's the greatest player right now, blah, blah, blah. And then someone was like, yeah, but Shaq fucked his mom. So yo, that's Speaking fucking hype. Of that. Did Shaq fuck Kobe's mom? <laughs> well, no. What happened is, is that also happened to LeBron. 
So there was some random no guy. Yeah, some I forgot his name. There's a there's a player that he played with, and ended up fucking Kobe or ended up fucking uh, not Kobe, uh, LeBron's mom, and LeBron got him kicked off the team, and then like a year later, someone found him on the street homeless. God damn, that's fucked, man. Yeah, he like ruined the I mean from what I understand like also this guy wasn't like a superstar or nothing like that like he wasn't it wasn't like he was so good that if he got dropped from the team like a team was immediately going to pick him up just because he was available it was one of those like he's he was probably continuously fighting for his position on the team every year every anyways so like yeah you can't you can't fuck the superstar of your entire league's mom and expect to like be like it's all cool like I'm gonna be your dad <laughs> you imagine just going up to LeBron and be like I'm your new dad and you're on like a opposing team that's a fucking power move if, if the guy wasn't made didn't become homeless then like that's some baller shit man like everyone talking like I said everyone talking like Oh, yeah, LeBron's, like, the GOAT. Like, people arguing LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, Curry's in there now. People arguing all that shit. And then it's just, like, you've got this guy who's, like, a second-string bench warmer starter. And they're, like, he's in talks, though, too, because he fucked that dude's mom. So, yeah, I don't care if you got six rings, seven rings. He fucked your mom, dude. Yeah, uh... uh no, his name was Delonte West. So I'm looking it up just because. I, say, I gotta look him up too. It's it's fucking crazy, man. Like it sucks. Um, cause it's like, um, yeah. The aftermath is that it ruined his NBA career and his life too. West made headlines in 2020 after a clip emerged of showing him being attacked and homeless. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, man. And then uh, a few months later, the the owner of the Mavericks assisted him in finding him employment in a rehab center. Yeah. Yeah, weird looking. So dude. like, yeah. So it's kind of like, damn. Like, I mean, go good for LeBron's mom. I'm getting that like young NBA player D. But yeah, like, <laughs> kudos. <laughs> I mean, good for you. But kudos. Like, hey, damn you. F I'm looking His at photos of him up. now, and I, I I don't want to talk shit about him knowing he's homeless, or hopefully they helped him out. But like, yeah, dude, straight up looks like a like a, a fucking homeless version of Steph Curry. No, agreed. But like, I hear, and and I guess that's the thing though is it's like. If I'm really looking at a scale of NBA players who are willing to fuck LeBron James's mom, like it's not going to be another star because I mean it, it could be, but like she's not going to do that because it, she knows it would actually like hurt LeBron. Yeah. Versus she's going to be willing to fuck an NBA player that's not like a superstar so it doesn't hurt him because it's just hey it's just an NBA it's just some guy whatever. yeah it's just some guy I'm fucking who's yeah. on your team I, that said she probably didn't expect his life to absolutely turn to shambles yeah. after getting some dick but like it, that's the thing though is it's like it, it, what, at what point do you blame LeBron's mom because also like I don't I'm not I don't know because like I, I mean I'm definitely not I, I don't care who I am who you are I'm I you shouldn't have he shouldn't have that's dumb I mean he should have known he was dooming himself I mean it's 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 two consenting adults man like oh no agree like, but also when it's your teammate yeah, that's the problem. Is they were teammates. I mean, so I, it makes it extra weird. I get that it makes it weird and shit, but like, if I <laughs> if, if for Mom's some reason me love too, if for some reasons like I was on a team or something, and 
a dude fucked my mom. Like it, as long as he didn't like use it to attack me in any way. Like I'd be like, dude, don't fucking tell me about it. Um, also, like, I mean, but I really want you off a... my team, but I'm not gonna fucking like get you kicked yeah. off the team for fucking somebody. Like, I'd but, be but pissed. Thing, though, yeah, but. You have to look at him every day and be and just know he like that guy probably made a pretzel of LeBron's mom and he has to envision that every time he passes that motherfucker a ball on the court. Like he's just he's having non flashbacks throwing a ball and then as it's just flying through the air he's just seeing his mom in a fucking jackhammer like I just wouldn't <laughs> I, like I said I wouldn't think about it man like it, it, it's gone you can't that, I don't I think something like that you don't get an option of not thinking about it that just subconsciously pops into your head and you have to just know no, no I, matter what it still happened I can straight up shut memories off buddy Oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know if you can shut that one off. That's fucking the nightmare. Yeah, I don't know if I could either, but, like, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I would be more pissed off, like. I would be pissed off if they used it in a way to attack me, but I think I would be more mad. Oh, yeah. I would be more mad at my mom. Oh no! Agreed. Like, I'm sure it made things a little weird for her. Yeah, and like them, but truthfully, like if my mom were single and I was a fucking NBA superstar, I'd be like, "Mom, the fuck is wrong with you?" I'd be like, I, it's, "Cool, this is my teammate. Y'all gonna get married? You gonna date? Blah blah blah. You just you just trying to fuck around? This is a teammate. Go fuck somebody on another team, mom." Yeah, but and. I don't, yeah, I guess it's hard. You can't really, like, dictate too much, but, yeah. <laughs> you can't dictate. But, like, I, I, you do, I just almost would rather say don't, please don't, just avoid all the players in the NBA because then you have the, the fact of, like, playing against someone and then that guy just, like, yeah. You're sitting at the you're sitting at the free throw line and like as you're lining it up he just goes I fucked your mom and just <laughs> yeah I would I would do that if I was I I I, I said I would do that but I would do that as a power move like I wouldn't actually do that <laughs> but like if I really wanted to get into somebody's head and knew that I could like have relations with a family member I'd do it. I'm just imagining like standing at the free throw line. He like he like sh LeBron shoots it. It doesn't. A it just absolute swish. And he goes swish like your mom did my balls. And, he's just, <laughs> <laughs> and he just runs and punches and just full on attacks him. Because even the refs like, yo, that's uncalled for. <laughs> like, just full on turn it into uh, into into basketball at that point, man. Fuck. <sighs> I mean, after he did, I mean, that would be the problem is he, if you say something like, like swish that, like your mom did my balls, like every single time he shoots a shot and swishes it, he's going to remember that guy said that. And just imagine his mom just like, fucking, just taking nuts to the chin. Like, <laughs> it's so dark and evil. Ah, oh, but. Oh shit. Um we should uh I should go make dinner. Uh thank you guys so much. We uh we love you guys. Thank you for listening to us talk about LeBron's mom swishing nuts. Um <laughs> the episode's <laughs> title is LeBron's mom if I remember. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm gonna text you it just because that is kind of funny. Because then people feel like, wait, what? Yeah, and like it's just us talking about her getting fucked. Uh, episode one, six, swishing nuts. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching, listening, like, comment, subscribing. We uh, appreciate all of it. Uh, we, uh, I will. Uh, 
shit. We will talk to you guys next week. We love you, and uh, bye, guys. Bye.